Hey guys, I'm Audie. We have been streaming on Twitch for about three months now, and we've been using Enhanced Stream Chat and Live Streamer Kit. So far, they've been great, except one thing. They don't make it rain. I want to make it rain. Emotes, that is. So let's go check this out. First thing that you want to do is you want to open Mod Assistant and you want to make sure that all of your mods are up to date. Best way to know if they are up to date or not is if it's green, it's updated. If it's red, it is not up to date and so then you would go over here to the install or update button and you would click it and it will install all of your mods. Now that we know that all of our mods are up to date, if you want to double check your plugin folder for Beat Saber, you want to go to your program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Beat Saber, and Plugins. And this is where all of it's going to show if it does not show up in your mod assistant. So I have Enhanced Stream Chat on this computer already installed. And what I'm going to do is I am going to delete it because the new mod that I am going to be doing counteracts with the Enhanced Stream Chat. You want to go to the Hard CPP Beat Saber Plus on GitHub. And down below, you want to join the Discord, and that is where you will be able to download your file. So we will go over to the Discord because I'm already a part of the group. Okay, so we are in the Discord group for Hard CPP, and we are going to go over to BS plus beta. This is where you are going to find all of the downloads for the Beat Saber Plus. You want to download the zip file. Once you have downloaded the zip file, you need to extract them. So I'm going to extract it and it is going to have a plugin folder and a libs folder. Since I'm already in my Beat Saber plugin folder, what I'm going to do is basically copy the Beat Saber Plus DLL file and the manifest, and I am just going to copy it over like so. Once that is done, I'm going to click on Beat Saber so that it takes me back to the main Beat Saber folder. Then I'm going to go to Libs from my extracted file. I'm going to click on libs and I'm going to put the Beat Saber Plus Chat Core DLL file in my libs folder. And it's that easy. Now what we need to do is load Beat Saber. Okay, we are launching Beat Saber and we are at the menu. You hit continue. And when you hit continue, right before it takes you to the main menu, you're going to have your Beat Saber Plus chat course settings that you have to fill out. You want to click on the token to get your off token. So you click there and it'll authenticate it. To make sure that right here under channels, you put your Twitch channel. This is very important because if you do not put your Twitch channel in, you will get an error message on the chat box. So now that we have already done these things, this is what it's going to look like. You're not going to see the chat box window open. Then you're going to come over and go to your settings and you're going to do your chat. Right here gives you the option to make it rain emotes. You have chat integrations where you can create cool and tights integration with your chat. I'm not sure what that is yet. Then you can also do take song requests from your chat. So this right here gives you the ability to type in 
the BSR for your song request. Game Tweaker, I'm not 100% certain with that. If you don't want the Beat Saber music, you can actually put in a song if you want to instead. It also has a song chart visualizer. I might go back later and test these. Now that I have my chat, my emote, and my chat requests, what you're gonna have your chat do is basically as they put in their emotes, it's going to start raining emotes. Yay! And now you are going to want your song requests. You have them put in their requests. And once you go to your solo and you see your SRM, it's going to be right there. And it's just taking a hot... Well, actually, hold on. I got to make sure I click it. Because I always forget to click. I always forget to click the song. So you click it, and you hit play, and now it is in your playlist. Ooh, I'm gonna have to try this one next. And that is pretty much it. So this whole thing is just a very simple setting menu, easy setup. Now, of course, Whenever Beat Saber does have an update, this will probably end up breaking, and that's okay. I've noticed with the maker of this mod, he is very on point with updates. So he usually kind of comes out with updates every other week or every other day, it seems like. If for some reason the mod doesn't show up uh, when Beat Saber has an update, you can always go to the Lyft Streamer Kit. That does not get affected by Beat Saber updates. Well, that is it for this tutorial. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. We stream every Thursday and Saturday on Twitch. Y'all have a great one, okay? Bye!